This 98-year-old billionaire just described cryptocurrencies to a venereal disease, aka STDs. Crypto is a $2 trillion asset class. Are you willing to admit you missed something? Well, I certainly didn't invest in crypto. <laughs> I'm proud of the fact I've avoided it. It's like, you know, some venereal disease or something. I just regard it as beneath contempt. I wish it had been banned immediately. And I admire the Chinese for banning it. I think they were right and we, we've been wrong to allow it. This isn't just any 98-year-old billionaire. This is Charlie Munger, who's basically the right-hand man of legendary multi-billionaire investor Warren Buffett, who's the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, a huge conglomerate holding company with a market cap of nearly $703 billion. But what's really interesting is that Warren Buffett also viewed crypto the same way, calling Bitcoin rat poison in 2018. You know, it, it's something where, where people who are of less than stellar character see an opportunity to uh, clip people who are trying to get rich because their neighbor's getting rich buying this stuff that neither one of them understands. It will come to a bad ending, Charlie. Well, I like cryptocurrencies a lot less than you do. <laughs> <laughs> and so, to me, it's just dementia. And I think the people who are professional traders that go into trading cryptocurrencies, it, it's... It's just disgusting. It's like somebody else is trading turds and you decide I can't be left out. However, it was recently revealed that Warren Buffett's company invested $1 billion worth of stock in a digital bank that focuses on crypto while dumping their shares of Visa and MasterCard. And that Brazilian-based company that they invested in is Nubank, one of the largest digital banks in Latin America. Does this mean that Warren Buffett has changed his mind of crypto being rat poison? And how do you think Charles feels about that decision?